Well, the simple mathematical formula for whether a revolution will succeed is, does the anger overcome the fear? Or, or if it won't succeed, does the fear overcome the anger? So this, I mean, that, that's, I, I've highly oversimplified it. So Putin can't control the anger because the anger is coming from destitution and poverty. And he's stolen all the money unless he wants to give it back, which he's not planning on doing. And so the only thing he can do is control the fear. And he can ratchet up that fear higher and higher. And as you just pointed out, he has. Now, the trouble with that is that it's unpredictable how people will react to the ratcheting up of the fear of, of the clampdown. At some point, people may just say enough is enough. I mean, who, who could have predicted that a fruit seller in Tunisia setting himself on fire would lead to the change of regime in, in many Middle Eastern countries? You know, it, nobody would have been able to predict that. And it's impossible to predict at what point, if at any point, the people of Russia have said enough is enough and the, the anger overcomes the fear. Right now, that's not the case. And, and as, as you pointed out, the one thing that Putin can control is how much more fear he can create. He can, he can, he can make life really terrifying for his people. And, and those are the tools that he has to work with. 